Hey Brandon, how's it going? This is Henry, this, and I'm here to respond to your request for a free video about how you can use the internet to grow your business. So as you can see right now, I'm on your Facebook page. I like the profile picture of the lawnmower on the grass, and then I like how in your cover photo you have like your address, and it's like a business card right there so people can get a hold of you. So going down to your Facebook page, I like how you engage with your users with all the different photos and posts and then going to the right hand side it's good how you can um people can message your page to get in touch with you and you got your phone number on there but one thing i'm not seeing is a website and i'm going to show you how you can actually use a website to your advantage to grow your business so here's what happens when you search for landscaping in boston lake new york the first thing you see is the map portion of google and the top three people in this spot get the most traffic. And right now, this is actually a good opportunity because you can see here, Don Moore Landscaping and Greenhouses does not have a website. So that's definitely a good opportunity to rank for that in the maps. And then after the map portion, we get the organic listings. And people who own, it's like people who own this space get the most traffic too. So we go down like, it's like Yelp, House, Home Advisor, Let's see, Boston Lake, that's a Facebook page. So the first like local business website that appears is ProCutLandscapeNY.com. And we keep going down. And you see at the bottom right here, these are people who are advertising. So in a sense, they're paying to be on page one and they're renting that space. And you want to own it by having a listing on the organic on page one. So here's a quick stat for you. So out of Google search traffic, 91.5% of it goes to page one. And then there's a, a huge, huge drop off right after that. Page two gets 4.8%, page three gets 1.1%. Then page four and up is almost nothing. So if it's if you're not on that page one, that's gonna be much harder for people to find you. And if you have a if you're listed on page one organically and then have a top three position in the map portion, then you're gonna really optimize all the traffic you can get for your website. So now let's check out the ProCutLandscapeNY.com and see what they do for your website and some things you can implement if you decide to make a website. So um, you see here they have a clickable phone number. I prefer to have it at the top left as well as a contact form at the top right. So that's definitely something you can outdo them on. So some things you have to consider when, you ha when you're making a website, you got to think to yourself, what action do you want the user to first take when they land there? So we want to make so for you, you want to make sure a potential customer can call you via the clickable phone number or get hold of you via email through the contact form sign up. And with the contact form sign up, you want to have like something above it that's saying like, oh, uh, get a free estimate. That'll give the user more intent to fill out the contact form. And going down to, they have nice pictures. And then you want to implement words like lawn care, design and installation expert on your website. So like right here. Full service landscaping coming in Burnt Hills, New York. I'm sure they, they probably service like Boston Lake too, but I'm sure you might serve Burnt uh, Hills too. And then you can see here they have service pages as well. It doesn't look like they have too many words on their page. So some things that Google actually looks for when they're ranking a local business website, you want to have authoritative content on your homepage. So that means having between 1,000 to 1,500 words all about landscaping, all the services you do. And these are some ideas you can take from them too, like irrigation lighting if you do that, like landscape services. Like they don't have that 1,000 to 1,500 word um, uh, piece. And then for the service pages, you want to have between 500 to 750 words. And right now, it doesn't look like they have that either. Okay, so here's a trick too. Whenever you hover over an image on a website, sometimes like a keyword will appear, like which is the meta description, and Google's actually gonna read that, and then your that image could pop up in the Google search image results too, so people can find you there. So like for example, you can have up when you upload a image to your website, you can say like landscaping Boston Lake New York. And another trick you can do too, you can like make pages for each location you serve. So let's just go right here to the map portion. So maybe like you want to make a page about Mechanicville, Schenectady, Rexford, and maybe in Johnsonville, I'm not sure how far you go out, or Saratoga Springs, and then make that page all about that town. And then you can rank for those towns too, and people can find you there. 
and while having all like this good information is good for Google like there's still like there's still more that needs to be done so think about it like this Google's the judge of the pop of the popular kids at school say you just have you came out with your new website and you have all that authoritative content on it and it looks really nice I mean that's not enough to get popular think about it like that like the new say if the new kid comes into the school he, he has a great personality good looking comes from a good family but that's just alone's not enough to get popular so you have to get votes of confidence from your peers or the popular kids so it's a, and what a backlink actually is that's um, is putting your website link on another website so hence why the whole popularity thing and not all backlinks are created equal there could be some that are more powerful than others so let's just say you put your website link on homeandgarden.com they're a well-known website and then they give you that follow Google's gonna see that and be like they're gonna move you up the rankings because it's kind of like home and garden saying oh the, the new kids really cool let's move um, we're gonna move them up the rankings but if you have a if you have this new website that comes out let's just say it's John Smith's landscaping and you put your website on their website Google's gonna see that and be like oh a new kid vouching for another new kid like their opinion doesn't mean anything we're gonna take him we're going to keep him where he is. So you want to find more and more of those popular kids per se and to link up to, to rise up the rankings. And then we're going to check a quick profile. There's a tool I like to use called Ahrefs. You can see like the whole landscape and what ProCut Landscape and Y.com ranks. So there are some keywords for use for your title. You can do like landscaping services, uh, like Burnt Hills, New York, if you serve there. Then we can check the keywords they rank for, and then you can try to implement some of those same keywords onto your website. And another trick too, you can use, you can see who your competitors are backlinking to and try to link up to those same websites. So going here, so here are the keywords. So it gets, they rank for their pro cut landscaping at search 150 times a month. Like pro cut landscaping. Let's see, pro cut Saratoga. Oh, like landscaping New York could be one, or like Charleston landscape, if you just serve there. If you want to get more in depth too with like landscape, you could say like school, uh, terms like lawn care, plant health care, um, like mowing. If you do like masonry stuff, or like stonework, driveways, depending on your services. Oh, like lawn care, Saratoga Springs, New York, search 20 times a month. It's definitely a key word to consider. And then let's see, going here, like Lawn Care Clifton Park 2, that's another one, search 50 times a month if you serve that area. And while that's all good too, like to rank in the map portion of Google, you need a thing called citations. So what citations are is the number of times that your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. And you want to have between 50 to 100 more citations than your competitors. But having way more citations isn't enough. You still have to optimize your website to have all the authoritative content and juicy backlinks. And if you do that and then have the, that 50 to 100 plus more than all your competitors, you're going to be way ahead of the game. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.